Ladies and gentlemen, let's rise for the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Distinguished Senator, His Excellency, Aishin Shinti, PCOM. Please, Bobas, please. 
This one first before this one. Please, let's give space. Okay. This one first. This one. Please, this one first. This one first before. 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 This one No, we we will go back. Let's get the we move back. We, let's get the shot. Uh, we get the shot, then we move back. Bros, have a carry this one. No, <laughs> we have given you the privilege to be answered. You people are coming off. Please, don't, don't be Please. Move back. We have we have told you to be there. Off the road, yeah. This is the demarcation line. Everybody here, we are with. Okay, now. Please be there. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Welcome to AMS Limited Factory Site. Your Excellency, Governor of the President, Professor Solution, you are welcome. Please, please, let's go back. Let me call the Chief Executive of the Now, Chief Executive Officer of AMES, please come. Yes, Excellency. <laughs> We started operation in 2019 and um, this factory took us about one year to put together. We invite you, Excellencies, to please commission this factory to the glory of God and let electricity energy meters begin to flow from here. You are welcome, sir.
So relax. If I saw you, if I saw you, I wouldn't find fun. Okay? Relax. Okay, don't come down. <laughs>
Gentlemen, may we please rise to welcome the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria alongside Mr. Governor of Anambra State. Ladies and gentlemen, national anthem of the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
for the commissioning of the JDA point one and also the social investment program and every other thing that we are here today to be witnesses to. We pray, oh God, that you will grant us your grace, that whatever we shall do here today will bring glory to your name. We pray that you bless our nation, Nigeria, bless Anambra State, and also bless the Emeka for Foundation, that at the end of every proceeding here, we will have a cause to return our grace and glory to you. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Please be seated. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, very quintessential teacher, erudite scholar, advocate colonies of record, distinguished senator, the former governor of Borno State, ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President. Republic of Nigeria, this is which senator, Kashim Shefima, G-C-O-N. Welcome to Anambra State. Please put your hands together for him in the Anambra way, please. And this is the first time the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in this regime is coming to Anambra State. Correct me if I'm wrong. Another round of applause for him, please, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Governor of Anambra State, Mr. Solution. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest gifts that Anambra State has given to humanity. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a man who has climbed the mountain Everest. And today, he has become so humble that he said he will come and replicate all he has seen globally in Anambra State. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll call him Mr. Solution. And Mr. Solution is not just a catchphrase, it is a reality. It is a reality because today in Anambra State, never in the history of the state has a governor employed 8,000 teachers at a goal in order to end the era of teachers without schools. Never in the history of our country, Nigeria, has a governor employed 800 health workers at a go. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just stop to say that Solution is here. A round of applause for Professor Tukuma Charles Soludo, the governor of Anambra State, CFR. Please put your hands together for him. Do I now say, let us rest on the protocol already established elsewhere since quite a good number of events have happened today. I cannot do without recognizing, ladies and gentlemen, the Deputy Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Karim. Please put your hands together for him. And also, other members of the National Assembly here I can see distinguished Senator Victor May, distinguished Senator Osita Ijuna. So I can see quite a good number of you, please. I, I crave your indulgence because there's no more time. I respect all of you. Honorable members of Federal House of Representatives, I salute all of you. Former governors that are here, Deputy Governor of Anambra State, please, I crave your indulgence, but forgive me, let us move with the momentum of the moment. But permit me, ladies and gentlemen, to appreciate this man whose heart flows with tremendous milk of human kindness. Ladies and gentlemen, I call him a human conglomerate. A man who has invested 750 million naira in charitable works. The Rotary International greatest donor in the entire continent of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, let me stop here and just recognize none other than Sir Dr. Emeka Ofo, the chairman of Crown Group and the founder of Sir Emeka Ofo Foundation. And they say, beside every successful man is a woman. Need I talk about his wife, a woman of immense substance, a woman so delicately designed, dimpled, and decorated by Almighty God. A rare combination of brain, brawn, and beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together 
for Mrs. Adora or for the Vice President of Sir Emeka for Foundation. Let me quickly invite Sir. Okay, quickly let us call the widows that Sir Emeka for Foundation built houses for so that Mr. Vice President will hand over the keys of these houses to them, please. Let's do that quickly. Beneficiaries of the Touch and Life Housing Initiative. It's an initiative, an emotional initiative started by our foundation and um, to support these women to give them shelter. When my husband took over the welfare of the widows, he gave them a voice. The widows in our community, over 2,000 of them, he gave them a voice, started to speak for them. And then um, he engaged me to their needs, education, fair, work and craft and catering to their children really. We found out um, something rather disturbing. A lot of them didn't have houses, about one tenth of them. So imagine about 200 widows without a house in their community. And so we, I, you know, spoke to him about uh, finding out and then as usual, the supporting boss van is, he went in full on to support this initiative. We started a prototype in 2020 at the height of the pandemic. We were able to create one house, and last year we launched the building of 10 houses, 10 two bedroom bungalows for each and every one of them. And so we're happy that you're flagging up for us today, and that sets the tone for 10 more houses by the middle of next year. And by the grace of God, we hope to achieve about 20 to 40 houses between now and 2025. The goal is that over the next 10 years, we're able to reach all parts of Nigeria. You see, widows being marginalized and the practices we have in these parts are quite unfortunate, but we thank God for this opportunity. And we pray that, uh, that God will continue to strengthen us. So your excellency, sir, thank you so much for being here. We thank you for your support. We see this as a mark for support of what we do. And on this note, I'd like to invite you to meet this woman. Thank you, sir. Then the key of this beautiful 
two guys go go gather one of our beneficiaries. Thank you so much. Congratulations.
<laughs> no block wheel.